We're going to go to Alessandra Gallioni, and she is joining us now from Rome. Alessandra, um, tell us, what is the mood there like in the city? Oh, well, I mean, it's crazy. You see the, the images from St. Peter's Square. It is just packed. As soon as the white smoke started uh, coming out, uh, the people that were in the side streets of the square crammed into the square, sort of stretching their necks to look at the smoke. At first, people were a little concerned it might not have been white, but then it was definitively puffs of white smoke announcing the new pope. Although, of course, we don't know who it is, uh, and that's going to take uh, uh, quite a few minutes, up to an hour, actually, because the pope has to, the new pope, has to do lots of rituals before coming out and greeting the crowd for the first time. Uh, in um, including, um, including, he has to uh, basically um, try on some new clothing, which he hasn't tried on before, and they have a number of sizes made of the white papal cassock. He has that's to pick right. a new name and uh, all the re all of the rest of it I want to bring in John John Bossy here who's on the set with me to talk about this uh, John uh, this big day yeah it is you know in Alessandria I'm kind of wondering uh, given the fact that this happened fairly quickly that they uh, chose a uh, new Pope what is that likely to say about the person that they chose there are a lot of stresses and strains within the Catholic Church right now they've had some scandals uh, the role of women is in question uh, in the church these are all men who chose uh, the latest male uh, pope uh, and there's a lot of structural issues within the, ch uh, the church uh, a bit of concern that perhaps it's too centered and too bureaucratic uh, in Rome for what is a church that's growing uh, quickly in Latin America and Africa. So who, who's likely to have been chosen given all of those stresses well, and issues? Well, that's, that's a million dollar question. And, uh, and I don't even know that they discussed all those issues, John. But uh, what it means, the fact that he was only elected after five votes means that the cardinals uh, were in some agreement going into the Sistine Chapel. Remember, they've had uh, uh, more than a week to, to in the pre-conclave congregations to, to discuss this. Um, if it's done so quickly, it means that this is someone that the cardinals rallied around. And so that could mean that, you know, there are certain issues that are important for the church, as you say, and prime among them is reforming the curia, the Vatican administration. Um, so there are a number of front runners or those considered front runners who are seen as people who are from outside the curia and were more likely, therefore, to be able to kind of go in and shake it up. So it could mean that uh, that that's the the, the type of card, the, the new pope fits that uh, that definition um, and and you know there were four cardinals essentially who were popable the most popable going in uh, an Italian a Brazilian uh, and and an American were three of three of the ones who were considered popables but really we just have to wait uh, a few more minutes to see who it is okay and we're, we're of course waiting on that and there's the, there's the crowd is the weather nice out nice outside it is March of course so it could be uh, it could be a bit chilly there Alessandra tell us what it's uh, like waiting in the uh, in the square well, it's been very wet all day, and for most of the day, all you could see uh, over St. Peter's uh, Square was just a bunch of colored umbrellas. But now, it, uh, actually, it's not raining right now, and uh, the smoke, the white smoke was very clear. The crowd immediately roared as soon as it happened, and they started chanting, uh, Viva il Papa, uh, so, you know, long live the Pope. Um, they also started singing the Italian national anthem, which was, was sort of a little bizarre, but, uh, and, uh, and everybody's just waiting. So what happens now is a top uh, uh, church official, one of the cardinals, will come out and say, Habemus Papam, we have a pope. And then shortly thereafter, uh, the new pope will uh, will come out and address uh, address the crowd. Now, when the pope addresses the crowd, what, what sort of things is it typical for a pope to say? Is it, is it a blessing? Is it a thank you? Is it a statement of policy? It's more of a blessing. I mean, it's the first impact with the crowd, and of course, it will it will de depend on on you know the the type of person it is. You know, John Paul II, you know, famously made made a joke about being uh, Polish, you know, and and sort of forgiving, asking people to forgive him for not uh, you know for 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 the way he spoke Italian. Um, so it, it really will depend on on who it is, but it's essentially a blessing, a welcome uh, to his new flock. Okay, and then uh, and then I guess he he goes back in. Thank you very much, Alessandra Gallioni. Uh, we really appreciate your time.